John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth and a four-term U.S. senator, died Thursday at the age of 95. Mr. Glenn, a former military test pilot, was chosen by NASA in 1959 to become one of the first U.S. astronauts in the Mercury 7 program, in an age when astronauts were the ultimate heroes. Five hours before he is destined to take a giant stride into history, Colonel John H. Glenn Jr. squeezes into his spacesuit. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. On February 20th, 1962, he circled the Earth three times and splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean. The mission earned him a hero's welcome with the ticker tape parade in New York City. The flight of the Mercury 7 evened the score with the Soviet Union in the so-called space race, an offshoot of the Cold War that culminated with the U.S. moon landing in 1969. Glenn, who was raised in New Concord, Ohio, joined the military after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. He flew 59 combat missions in the South Pacific during World War II, and later during the Korean War flew 90 combat missions. As a test pilot, Glenn set a transcontinental speed record from Los Angeles to New York, three hours and 23 minutes. It was the first transcontinental flight to average supersonic speed. Glenn resigned as an astronaut in 1964, and he retired from the Marine Corps a year later. Running as a Democrat from Ohio, he was elected to the Senate in 1974 and served until January 1999. In 1998, when he was 77 years old, he rode the space shuttle, becoming the oldest person ever to blast into space. In 2012, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Glenn died at the James Cancer Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, where he had been hospitalized for more than a week.